Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro, where we are in Chicago. Had a horrible start, and we've kind of brought it back now. We're doing okay. 16, 10, and 1. Have the least amount of games played in the entire NHL. And after our season opener, we had like a 7.18 GAA or something crazy, and our save percentage was an 8.2. Or sorry, 0.2. Nope, that's not it either. Hold on. I'll get it eventually. A .82. There we go. But now 26 games later, we have a 225, a 928, and a record of 12, 17, and 1. Not too shabby. So as we have been doing, assuming we don't have a complete collapse and end up simulating the whole year, I'm going to try to play Columbus in this video. I'm going to go past the trade deadline, see if the GM does anything. But you know what? Let's start off with the 25th place Buffalo Sabres. See if we can take home a W here and advance to 17 wins. All right. Here we go. That's a good start. Logan Thompson gets scored on by Bedsy. And it is 1-0 for the good guys. And it will be 2-0 before the first period ends. Bedard gets two. And we have the insurance marker. Five on three. And we don't capitalize. Just give us the L. We don't deserve to win. That's pathetic. There are two reasons that jumping into this game is a must. One. Look at the score. I'm not going to say it yet. But the opportunity's there. The second reason is that our boy Bedsy has two goals. Will we see some hats thrown on the ice or not? Let's find out. And the benefit of recording this one right after the other is that I shouldn't have to re-disable the- Oh, I do. Okay, that's awesome. Because I save and exited, that probably reset it as well. I thought it was only once you turn the game off, but apparently not. No tethering. Let's get it done here. Yeah. I'm throwing it out. And Rossmus was all over it. He knows. He's studied. He knows the things that I do in this net. And probably disagrees with a lot of them. Incoming power play. I don't know why, but it really bugs me that Bedard wears number 16. How did this happen? Oh! They're taking another one? Yeah, tripping. 100%. Five on three, we suck at those though, so. I don't, that just, that language that just happened was wild. We suck at those though, though. No. What? We suck at those though, so. English is weird. How did he still manage to get that? Made the save though. And they might get another chance here. Why did you slide so far? Gotta be more composed than that. Come on. There we go. There we go. Am I a little upset that it wasn't Bedsy for the Hattie? Yeah. But I'll take a 3-0 lead all day. It'd be a real shame if someone were to ruin this shutout. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> they would have just came and done it immediately. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. They are on one currently. And it's because I said it. It's the only thing that makes sense. Whoa! I think it hit the glove, which, as a result, hit the crossbar? Post? Something like that? They are not messing around anymore. They heard me say it, and they were like, get him. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Had to happen. All right, that's okay. We got one, and it's a 3-1 lead now. Basically, just back to the same situation we entered the third with. Nope. You got your one goal. You're not getting another. Okay, they are kind of scaring me a little bit now. The amount of pressure. And they're throwing the body around? Okay. This could turn on a dime. Never mind. No, it can't. Valerina Chushkin has the most open net ever. Probably not as open as the last episode. Remember, I can't even... No, I don't remember, actually. So I can't expect you to remember... Who was it? I think it was Zegris. Had the most open net from like a tic-tac-toe play. Whatever. This is number two all time compared to that. Glove shave. Throw it out to the corner. Please just be the first one to touch it. That's all I ask. And he still managed to make a play. Again? Rossmus. Nice. Kicks it behind the net. And we get there first. Anthony Beauvillier, number 72. Great number. Let's go, Berkeley. Let's go. Takes it, what? Just gets past everybody. If we do end up having a Sabres empty net, 
This coach better put Bedard out there or I'm going to have some strong words for him. A little shorthanded chance there for Buffalo. But it was shut down by none other than your boy, Scotty Sturles. What do we got here, 4-5? It's kind of a weird jersey number, actually. And I'm into it. I'm all about the weird jersey numbers. Is that another one? They did just take another penalty. Okay, beautiful. Nice try. Walked in from the point. A little wristy going for the rebound, but Logan given nothing. It would be really cool if we could play both of our former teams in this. If we could somehow play against the Ducks. I know for sure we could play against Columbus, which is the more recent team anyway. Looked like it could have hurt. Just a little bit though. A stinger. Puck gets put in deep. Two minutes to go. I think we got this in the bag. Feed Betsy. Feed him. No, so close. Had to reach for that one. Maybe positioning wasn't great there. I'm not sure. I feel like I should start paying attention to the handedness too of the player coming in because that makes a big difference. Get out of here. Get rinsed, actually. I totally saw all of that wrong. I thought this went five hole and in the net. Thankfully, that's not the case. It must have just been the puck's shadow or something that I saw. Because I definitely saw something. No hat trick and no shutout, but I guess I'll take the win as a consolation prize. 38 shots and one goal against. Is that any good? Sure is. Let's hit up the good old calendar. We play Columbus here and we play the Ducks here twice. So, I'm pretty much just simming past the entire month of January and the majority of December because I... Want to play these two teams. Oh, yeah. Four game winning streak comes to an end, but that's all right. What do you want, sir? The way you've been playing lately. Uh, excuse me. I have a 924. Do you know who you're talking to? You ever heard of Bitcoin, bro? Okay, three L's in a row is unacceptable. Four. Thankfully, we won the second matchup there against the Jets, but something has got to change here. No massive losing streaks, please and thanks. But I want to walk around the local park. Guess what? You're getting a star answer, Betsy, because it is the year of the brand. I'll fit in. Fine. Yeah, end conversation. So, wait, hold on. Primary line scoring went up. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, three straight wins. Make it four. Can we do five? Yes, we certainly can with a shutout to boot. The cherry on top. Oh, now we've been hot lately, eh? How are the turntables? Guess what? You're getting hit with the same star answer. Well, that's upsetting. Everybody's starting to get pissed off with Scott. You know, they're all leaving the conversation without the props, the anything. No dapping each other up. It's just... I don't recall giving you permission to talk to me. What? What do you want? Guess what? Star answer. I don't care. Yeah, we're playing dry sidle. You know what I'm going to do? Delete him. Act out. Get me out of here. Maybe if Scott starts acting like more of a star... Start playing like one. None of this whatever's best for the team crap anymore. All right? Time to start looking out for yourself, Scott. You have got to be kidding me. We're not in for this game. Simulate, and it is a shootout loss. All right, take me up to the Columbus one. What? The last stretch of games has been awful to watch from the bench. Yeah, you know what? That's crazy because I could say the same thing. Why was I not in? Wait, what? When did I play for New Jersey? I didn't play for... What? Am I insane? Did I play for... The Devils? I don't think so. As far as I can remember, it's only been the Ducks and the Jackets. We better be in. Thank you. All right, here we go. Our former team, first matchup against them. Let's see how we do here. Not too much to report so far. Power play for us, and we don't score. So I guess that is worthy of mention. Nil-nil after one. Let's see if the second period brings some goals. It brings one at least. Coronado scores, and we get the insurance marker. But it is immediately wiped away by our two-time former teammate, Trevor Zegras. Nice. We have the lead going into the third. Let's see if we can just hold them off. Columbus does still have David. So it must have been another guy with the same last name. Could be related to him. Could not be. I don't know. What I would like to see is who's their netminder? Mackenzie Blackwood. All right. How do you not score that? All you had to do was shoot it 
probably within like a two, three second window. And you couldn't even do that. I tried to cut off the angle so intensely there. If there was anyone in front of the net, what just happened? So basically, Rosmus is carrying the puck, gets absolutely welded by 2-4, and the puck just goes flying. Well, I will have you know something, Columbus. You will not be able to take a run at my captain like that and not face the consequences. Let's go! Mackenzie Blackwood, you are dead meat. Take that helmet off, and you are about to be dropped like a two-foot pot. There you go. Dodge, and another one. Why not? Okay, a little block there. Yeah, he's as good as done. Absolutely finished. Don't get too far ahead of yourself here, Scott. Good dodge. All right. Too bad you're still getting dropped. Boom. Don't touch my captain. I always forget that it becomes a four-on-four four after a goalie fight, which truthfully doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Shouldn't they just cancel out? Horrible shot, but maybe calculated? No, Verhage decides he wants to go back to the point again. That could have been tipped. Are we getting a... Yes! That is the best possible result I could have gotten from throwing the puck out right there. Jacob's got a lane. And he's taking it. Goes for a pass in the middle. But Danielson on the tremendous back check. Horrible positioning, Scott. All good. Glove shave. Toss it over to Korchinski. I thought it was going to go for like an end-to-ender -end or something. Still could. He lost it for a second, but it was calculated. Never mind. Now it is done. The moment's ruined. Or is it? Yes, it is. Nice pass. What a save by McKenzie. He is a goal scoring machine. But I did play on your team for a while, so I think I have you figured out, at least slightly. Blocker. Let's get the puck out of here. What is even the score? 2 1? What is even that? Do it. We've had some good chances. We really have. Has there been. Any goals in this third so far? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was 2-1 coming into this, right? I thought the first one was going to go in. It didn't. And then I thought the second one wasn't going to go in. And it did. How did you... Yeah, that's, you know... Thank you. That's something that would go in on Scott. And I'd be fuming. So I'm not the only one. Get wrecked, Blackwood. Almost another... Do it. Do it. Into the bench you go. Sit down. A little clappy right there. Back door. Ooh, okay. We are winning. Against our former team. I love it. What was that post sound? That was weird, but kind of cool. Don't smut. Come on. There's three seconds left. And there we go. Nice win. A needed win as well. They had 50 shots? No, we had 50 shots. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Thought we were still in Columbus for a second there. They had 25. Can I be in against the Ducks this time, please? We have to play them. Moment of truth. What is wrong with you? I guess we'll play against the Golden Knights. Here we go. Let's get it done. Early goal. Who says no? There it is. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. You didn't have to copy us. The Golden Knights are copycats. You heard it here first. Thank you, Betsy. D gets laugh. It's gotta be, right? 100%. Will we have any last minute goals here? No, we don't. All right. 2-2. Two, two, heading into the third period. Hopefully we can go in and get another dub. The Golden Knights are a little bit worse for wear. They have Ekholm, but it's not the Ekholm you think it is. Or me. Because it didn't have a picture for him. Meaning it's probably a prospect. He had one ability. It was like 83 overall. And the only gold X factor they had was Shea Theodore. No clue what happened there. Absolutely none. But I tried to anticipate the pass. Way to stay onside, Betsy. Way to stay onside. Good shot. Assume the pass. Yep. 
I don't even think I can claim any responsibility for that save, but I'm just happy with myself for getting ready because our defense, for some reason, don't like taking away the one-timer on any team I've ever been on. Keegan Colasar is in and finds a guy in the middle. All right, all right. Settle down here. Let's just make a couple saves. Be disciplined. No flopping around like a fish. Good stuff. All right. All over it. This game's easy. Start the timer. How long is it going to be before I eat those words? Probably not very. Glove shave. Throw it out to Lunkfist, who immediately has it poke checked off of him. Still man. Let's go, Lunkfist. Great effort from you. And we're going to score because of it. We have to. Why? If you're right handed right there, you had the perfect. To j I, whatever. Rebound so close. Vanacek had it though. Is that. Oh, just a whistle for. That was a quick whistle, ref. Saved and thrown to absolutely nobody. Of course, they get a hold of it first. But I don't care. You know, whatever the coach says is just going to bounce off me. I'm past that point in my career. In fact, I shouldn't care anyway, really. I don't think it actually really affects much, if anything at all. Maybe. Like, a few starts or something like that. I don't know. But it most likely doesn't make too much of a difference. Free stat. Probably could have, like, you know, played that and done something productive with it. But I'll take the save. Where'd this thing go? <laughs> that was so weird. He went for the glove save and just yeeted it. Should not have saved that. Should not have saved that. But we did. Yeah? Two on one. Two on one. Come on. Don't want this game to go to overtime. I really do not want that. It almost didn't go to overtime. That is what I like to call too close for comfort. All right, fine. Let's do this thing three on three coming your way. Awesome. Awesome. You know what time it is. You already know. And you already know I'm throwing it out as well. Come on, Batard. You win these. You do. What a pass. No. Not another one. <laughs> I went so far to the right there. Hustle, young man. Skate. That is pathetic. The only way to describe what just happened is pathetic. Thank you. What a shot from Bedsy. Great pass. And another win for Chicago. Two points that we need. Let's go. Come on, boys. I will sim up to the day before the trade deadline so we could look at our roster and see if the GM does anything. Hopefully they do. It'd be nice. So this is what we're looking at right now is... What's his name? I can't remember what his name is. Is he hurt? He is. Berkeley. Yeah. Okay. So injury bug clearly following me. Defensively, we got all this going on. So let's see if we do anything, shall we? Simulate up to the Kraken game. A massive 4-0 win over the Flames. I'm trying to see if I can get any information from down there, but they're just showing the leading scores. Trades. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Just have done something. Something. Don't have to do a lot. Okay. All right, so we've got Soup, Superman. I can't. I, don't, I think he's Superman. Mikhaev, Mikhaev. I am struggling really hard right now. Berkeley has been promoted to first line left wing. We got Zabenejad at the young age of 37. The Nooch. He's got one ability left in him. Defensively, I think we look pretty much the same. Yeah, we already had Korchinski. Okay, so didn't mean to do that. And Hill is still the backup. All right, so we did a little bit. Was it insane? No. But I feel like it's going to help. Still third in the Central Division. 75 points. And we have three games on the wild here. And we're three points back. So the odds are in our favor in that one. Where's Montreal? Are they ahead of us? No, we're eighth. And they are nowhere to be found. Okay, 11. 47 points from Berkeley. Obviously, he had that injury. But I guess it wasn't too bad. Because I feel like he only missed a couple of games. 
Bedard, 45 points in 54 games. Matt and Beckett both have 44, and Rossmith with 43. Scotty Boy's got 27 dubs, four shutouts, and a 923. That is solid. Shesterkin and Gabriel still leading the charge here, but Scott is climbing. Once again, Kale McCarr just in a league of his own. 78 points in 62 games played. The next closest is Sergachev. And he's 23 back. Leon leading the league. 81 points, 47 goals in 63 games. Benson, 80 points. He's right there. I guess Leo Carlson's found a good home in Pittsburgh because he is doing phenomenally. All right, in the next video, we will continue to make our playoff push and... It looks like we're going to be in. So I don't think we have to worry too much about that. It's more so how high of a seed can we get. As always, I appreciate you guys. If you could leave a like, subscribe, that would be awesome. And I will see you soon.